So just a quick update. The Sound Blaster Live card and the other, other circuits that had the solder mask removed are currently bathing in hydrochloric with a little bit of peroxide. And uh, we're gonna let those sit for about a week or two and get those foils to pop off, uh, if they indeed will. But uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll have a, an update on that here pretty soon. But uh, as of right now, they're still pretty solidly connected. I expect it to take a little bit of time. Um, they may not have any base metals underneath to pull off, so they may not actually come up. We'll see. If we have to, we'll put that straight into AR and we'll, we'll see what we will do, but we'll wait about a week to do it. All right, so it's been about uh, I don't know. Let's see what's today. Monday? It's been about a week. Maybe about five days since I put the boards inside this uh, this hydrochloric and uh, peroxide mix. And you can see floating around on top there, uh, there's the, um, the material as it's peeling off of the boards. It's looking more and more copper colored. So this looks to be more flashing with a copper base, um, but we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll see what this ends up being. But uh, let's let this run a few more days and, uh, and then we'll process this with Aqua Regia and see what we end up with. Okay. And that should be a pretty fun little experiment. Nice dark green color. That's uh, indicative of the uh, hydrochloric has been eating away at something some base metals in there so okay let's check back in a few more days all right now we're getting somewhere the liquid has turned really dark it's been another another day and if you look very carefully down there you see all those those little flakes it looks like it's copper on one side and I'm hoping it's the gold material on the other. You can see that that board on top has has lost a lot of whatever whatever that metal is. And then there's uh, all the boards underneath. Uh, they're a little bit slower, so I may have to change the order up here a little bit. I could easily add a little bit more acid, um, but uh, you can see I've barely got anything in here at all. Just about two or three hundred. Um, milliliters but yeah take a closer look at all those flakes again that's the uh, sound blaster live that's the oh that telecom card and all of those mouse pad uh, track pads let's see what the bottom actually looks like let's go ahead and pick this up oh first off maybe this is a better view you can see that stuff is flaking off of that Sound Blaster Live. Now let's take a closer look. Um, doesn't look like that stuff is coming off. I may have to use Aqua Regia on that stuff on those, those track pads. But all the rest of that stuff is coming off. So, yeah, there we go. All right, well, all right, so it's another day. We're gonna look inside our little jar here. Hopefully it'll zoom in something other than my finger. Oh, look at all that glitter. That is a mix of copper and gold uh, leaf or uh, plating, whatever you wanna call it, flashing. But uh, it's starting to eat it off of that, uh, off of those little touch pads, the little track pads for the mouse, laptop, whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll uh, we'll let this go another little bit here, but it is pulling all those leads out of those etched-in trenches on the uh, on the circuit boards. Um, there seems to be a coating over the the trackpad that's on top there. You can see where it, it ate through 
pretty nice where the little chessboard deal is. I don't know what you call that. It's kind of like an alternating pattern of squares. But um, the acid doesn't really want to dive underneath because of that, whatever that film is. There's an adhesive film over the top. So we'll have to figure out how to get underneath that. But for the most part, yeah, these, these leads are coming off. So we're going to keep, keep going. All right, so first things first, let's get our gloves on, protect our hands. So it's been about a week and the liquid is pretty dark. It's kind of a yellowish green uh, as, it, as it drips down the sides. So uh, it's got all that glitter we showed you the other day. We're gonna, we're gonna filter the little bits that uh, have come off. We're going to rinse them off and see what that looks like. Got the filter. I like to wet it down. It sticks to the glass better and it keeps it open. Otherwise, it uh, tries to close up on me. We're going to try to use the pressure from the water to liberate any of the last particles. Um, as I don't have these completely rinsed off yet, I'm not going to touch them. Um, but they are pretty clear of all metals. So the hydrochloric with the peroxide worked. Um, and uh, we're now almost ready to do this step. Except for I'm going to wait for more material. So 